This should be a fun segment, if that doesn't happen. Which I'm sure it will many times. Well, it'll be a handicap at any rate. Come on, don't do that. Okay, um, actually I'm just gonna save state and reload, that usually helps. Okay. Anyway, um, Saucer Apparel has been hyped up enough as it is. It's not that exciting, but it out of, out of the mini games that you have, this is probably the best one. It's just a straight up rail shooter. And it tours the whole level, and that makes it awesome. What a surprise! Standard scoring procedures. Banjo's like, Ooh, I gotta shoot some stuff. It's a great expression, though. Anyway, uh, you just do this, and you shoot stuff. It, it's really that simple, but you have to do it for an astonishingly long time. So the <laughs> noise is probably going to get annoying, but deal with it. It's fun, damn it! I, I swear. Watching it might not be that interesting, but I don't know. So yeah, as you can see, it goes all over the level. I should speed up these transition sequences just to make sure I have enough time to do both things in this segment. I can't imagine why I wouldn't, but you never know. So just really enjoy the sights. Um, I just done, got done doing a lot of bitching in Demo World, feeling a little bit better about that. I know that I'm a jerk to people, but at least I can admit that. Sometimes it's warranted, sometimes it isn't. But the thing is, I try to at least give people a chance, because, like, I don't block anyone, ever, except for under very specific circumstances. Like, a few days ago, there was this spammer on my channel who was causing a ruckus, and my god, people were getting angry over that. And I refused to block it, because I was just sitting there for the entire day, deleting pretty much everything that he put up so that people wouldn't have to see it, but at least, like, I didn't have to block him, because I figured, given enough time, he might get bored and just decide to not do it anymore. That didn't happen. It, it, it still ended in travesty, but... The point is, I try to not do that, because I hate blocking people. It, it's mean. But whatever. They're just still shooting stuff. I'm not sure how many points you need. It's either 500 or 600. I don't think I've ever really had a problem getting enough. I might this time because, uh, like, I don't know. I'm missing a lot of stuff. And also, I don't know if you heard it, but when you're about to crash into that pole, he makes the same noise that he makes when he's falling, and I still don't know what he says. It sounds like jet blow. He's like, jet blow! I, mean, I know I know it isn't jet blow because that isn't a, a thing. But like, what what is he saying there? It's not uh oh because there's a definite there's like definite consonant sounds in there. It's I, I don't know what consonants, but they're in there. Right, how much of this is left? I don't think that much. This might be the final stretch here. So hopefully I didn't need 600. Here comes the flip. Get the blues! I think I only got one of those. That's lame. Let's go for 550 here. Can maybe make that. Yep, I made 550. Hopefully that's good enough. Alright, let's see. Yeah, I win two bleeping prizes. Alright. Get the Cheeto page if you get, like, 300 or 500 or something, or 3 or 400. You get the Jiggy if you get 500. All my prizes gone. It sounds like bad grammar that I would have made in Bargo the Big Dip. And I kind of need to heal before I do the boss fight. So let's hope that I can do that. 
the hell is this? Never seen that before. And then this was the part where I included a clip of the movie Bloody New Year with the words random transition flashing over it. You should watch the Cinema Snobs review of it, it's hilarious. And we're back. I think I have found the culprit. Uh, after redoing the Saucer of Peril and getting the error a second time, and then redoing it and getting it a third time, I finally checked the task manager and found that I had two instances of the PlayStation emulator running that just weren't being displayed properly. I don't even know. So yeah, uh, if there was a ton of lag in that last part, that would probably be why. Same for Demo World. Strange, wobbly, inflatable thing has got to be the best description of any boss ever. And how did I click outside the window? What the hell? Anyway, you got to pop all his patches, which is kind of difficult because he's always moving around, but then he stops. I'm going to go for... Okay, got the one on the tail. And then he switches things up a bit by introducing that stupid thing. So you can't stand around and just hit him with grenades. You might be able to stand around if you time it well, but probably not. And this, the battle is much more epic if you do it from the sky anyway, so... Anyway, uh, you can beak bomb these patches. It's a bit hard, but you can do that if for some reason you don't want to use grenade eggs. I'm trying to hit at least one that way. Just to show off that it is possible. It is possible, isn't it? I've heard that it was. What the shit? Come on. Okay, screw it. I'm gonna run out of time. Uh, let's take damage from the explosion. How am I missing this guy? Look, fly away from him. I could be aiming here, but apparently I've elected not to. I don't know. A bit hard when I'm so close. And every time that you hit him, he gets a little bit smaller, making them a little bit harder to hit. But that doesn't really become a problem until you get down to the, uh, like, under five. I'm doing that to dodge the beach balls. Wow, I am doing horrible here. Like, seriously, how am I missing so much? Now I'm not even really aiming, I'm just hoping to get lucky. Like, that should have hit right there. Totally should have hit. Come on. Get away from him. Okay, I'm going down. And going down in more than one way, I guess. No, not that way. Seriously, people are perverts. I'm just preparing for the comments. I'm not saying it myself. But I know that other people will. Okay. Um. I might get lucky here. I don't know. And yeah, only grenade eggs hurt him. You can't use regular ones. Or fire. Not that fire would really make a whole lot of sense, but... Whatever. Let's... Oh god, get out of the way. Ooh, cool. That one actually hit when I wasn't even looking. Get the face. Got the face. One left. There should be honeycomb somewhere, which I could probably use. Get out of the way. Ooh. 
Okay, cool. Watch me die after the cutscene. Ew. They really got away with a lot of crap in this game. Alright, that was a reasonably epic boss fight. Not not to overuse that word, um, but it was a close fight. Ooh, the music. It, it was doing the thing again. Anyway, I'm pretty sure I'm out of time, so I'll just let the music play as I slowly find the exit.